Logan, what's going on in your mind? In my mind? Well, let's have a look. Welcome to the Perry Logan Show. Resistance is futile. I repeat, resistance is futile. You are now being assimilated into the Perry Logan Show. Stare closely at the following images. Just kidding. It's June 14th, 2012. Welcome to the worst of times, where the worst of presidents, Barack Obama, is supported by the worst of fans. Even a child can see the pattern now. Barack Obama goes off in secret and reams out his fans. And while you're being assimilated into the Perry Logan Show, we remind you again that not only is resistance to the Perry Logan Show futile, it's just no fun! Hey, loosen up! Relax! We've got the worst of presidents! Barack Obama has wrested the crown of worst president ever from the tiny little stove of George W. Bush. Tiny little scale of me, George W. Bush? Well, but I was never really president, remember? Oh, that's right, we forgot. Hello, this is the Buddha. No! This is the Buddha! No, 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 this is the Buddha. 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 Trust me. And when I say this is the Buddha, I mean this is Perry Logan's satiric version of the Buddha. Yada yada yada. Hello and welcome to another supernal Perry Logan show by Austin's revered Perry Logan. It's. June 14th, 2012. What do you know? It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. What am I saying? It was totally the worst of times. It's the 21st century and there's no such thing as good news. I know. I'm the Buddha. I know the news. And in the age of Obama, there is no good news. Kinda creeps you out, huh? Did you know that democratic registrations are at an all-time low? Did you know that Barack Obama's stature among foreign nations has plummeted, just like Perry Logan falling off his trampoline? It's that bad. Small wonder, with Obama creating more terrorists every day with his killer Diller drones. It is the worst of times, with Barack Obama creating terrorists every day with his killer, Dillard Drones. He is easily the worst of presidents, having wrested the crown away from the tiny little skull of George W. Bush, who, keep in mind, was never really president. <laughs> In you go. Thank you.
life. Welcome to the worst of presidents. Aww. Among other things, I wanted to note a pattern which the left and much of the world is in denial, denial of. It's a pattern. I call it the Obama technique. That gave it a name, huh? Cool. It, the Obama technique is very simple. Obama goes off in secret and screws us over. Okay, if you don't like that, that's what he does. It just came out just the other day, like today or yesterday, uh, some information was leaked that Obama's, uh, he is, his people are making up trade agreements which would like hand over all kinds of power to the multinationals. You heard me right. It's a real story, you see. That's a stark case of Obama, not necessarily literally by himself, but sometimes literally. <laughs> Obama and his people, to state it simply, that's the pattern they go off in secret and ream us. How about that? This is the literal truth. It's a pattern that it seems like, well, I'm the only one pointing it out. Yeah, it's an election year. And it's got to be the weirdest, worst, most expensive, ugliest, dumbest <laughs> election ever between two candidates who are so out of touch. Though we love Mitt Romney and Barack Obama, these two guys could not be more totally and insanely and inanely out of touch with the American people if they came from the planet Loga! Hello everybody, just relax and try to be comfortable as we head for the planet Loga, which is a good distance away, okay? And while we're headed for Logar, we have to remind you that targeted assassinations violate well-established principles of international law, making your president, Barack Obama, the worst of presidents. And a war criminal, it's just too sad. The U.S. has formally expanded its drone attacks in Somalia. President Obama, that worst of presidents, has authorized the use of signature drone strikes in Yemen, whereby they can kill just about anyone they want. That's how it's going. I don't know if Logar's gonna be able to bail us out of this. Don't worry, we're going to reach Logar soon. Hello, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Logar of the planet Logar uh, cannot see you right now. I am his amanuensis, Logar. Is everybody named Logar on this damn planet? Yes. Uh, Mr. Logar is in his hibernation cycle and cannot come uh, to, to, to explain what how you people have screwed up. Uh, don't you people understand you have totally screwed up? Don't you know a Democrat from a neocon? We concede that Obama is a neocon all the way here on Logar. <laughs> Certainly with these glasses. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I believe Mr. Logar is uh, willing to talk to you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Logar. He's inside my, inside my skull here. As I say, he's in his hibernation cycle. This is Logar. Sorry, I'm a bit slow. I'm in my hibernation cycle. I see you, you have to call on me again to help bail you out. It's painfully obvious to me that your President Obama has a tendency to go off in secret and ream you up. <laughs> He's that bad, okay? He is the worst president. Kind of the antithesis of your Abraham Lincoln, if I may say. People say Logar. 
with another neocon in the White House and everything getting worse, what can Earthlings do? Well, Logar says, uh, well, you are kind of screwed. You really are kind of screwed. But Logar recommends that you vote for the progressive third party of your choice. Just like Perry Logan, I, Logar, recommend that you, Earthlings, vote for the progressive third party of your choice. You should vote, or try to vote, for the progressive third party of your choice, if only because it will release infinitudes of glorious endorphins into your tiny Earthling brains. <laughs> Obama, the worst of presidents. You mean the worst of presidents? <laughs> Sometimes I slay myself. What makes Barack Obama the worst of presidents? Well, his patented technique. He's a patented technique. He's a patented technique. He's a patented technique. I said a patented technique. All right, all right. Haven't you noticed this pattern? Now, I know you people are smart, and I, <laughs> I just wanted you to notice a pattern in your president guy we love, Barack Obama, but there's a pattern. It's just so perspicuously clear, if I may coin a phrase. And what is that pattern? The pattern is as follows. Barack Obama goes off in secret and screws us over. That's the pattern? You haven't noticed the pattern? You haven't noticed the pattern? Barack Obama goes off secretly and screws us over. He screws step away, away from, from the, the camera. camera. I repeat, step, step away, away from the camera. camera. I'm not supposed to get that close to the camera. It's regarded as perverse. Look, look. Hey, the pattern is so clear, it seems to me. You know, I get so sick of being the only guy who sees through Barack Obama. <laughs> oh, I know I'm not the only guy who sees through Barack Obama, but I saw through him from the get-go. <laughs> hey, I've got like four years of superb YouTube videos. Superb YouTube videos which you have to see. You have to see my wonderful YouTube videos. They uh, show that I was wise to Obama from the get-go, and furthermore, they are the greatest thing on YouTube. Step, step away from the camera. I repeat, step, step away, away from the camera. I, I, okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Perry, help <laughs> me. Good show, huh? Now, there's a very clear pattern to uh, Barack Obama. Obama goes off secretly and screws us over. <laughs> Don't you love this? Oh, wait, it, could you think of anything worse than that? Hmm? I'll tell you what. Let's just have a look at the latest Obama bummer, shall we? 
Hey, hi, welcome to Obama Bummer News. It's June 14th, 2012, and Fresh news. I have like fresh, hot, off the griddle news. And I know you love that. It's Obama bummer news. Hey, look, there, here it comes. Look at these words here. Just look at these words. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is what the, you should be reading an important bit of news. It's the latest Obama bummer. And yeah, that's what happened there. Obama has been doing what he always does. He sneaks off in secret and screws us over. What? If you don't like that, he sells us out. Come on, man. He went into the offices. He went and secreted himself with insurance health providers and killed the public option all by himself. He killed the public option all by himself in secret. Okay, that's the pattern. That's the Obama technique. He goes off into secret and screws us over. <laughs> and the Obots say, Thank you, Obama. Thank you, I felt really good. Thank you, Obama, for bending us over and screwing us. Oh, ah, oh! I'm sorry, did I go too far? Well, good. Step, Step away from, from the, the camera. camera. Hi, this is Abraham Lincoln, the best of presidents. Ah! And this is Barack Obama, the worst of presidents. Once again, this is Abe Lincoln, the best of presidents. You may remember me as the one and only Republican president who was worth a tinker's dam. You may also remember me as the president who freed the slaves. Not bad. And most of all, you may remember me as the president who whooped those rebel traitors. God damn those rebel traitors. It continues to blow my mind that those rebel traitors were willing to shoot their fellow Americans just so they could keep their bloody slaves. It just amazes me that those rebel traitors were willing to shoot their fellow Americans just so they could keep their bloody slaves. It makes me sick. This is Barack Obama, the worst of presidents. You may remember me as the first African-American president. And after my performance, almost certainly the last. <laughs> this is Barack Obama. I'm just kidding. Watch this. Thank you. Thank you. Only on the Perry Logan Show. For the first time ever, a U.S. citizen was assassinated by the CIA on orders from me, the worst of presidents. Without a shred of due process and far from any battlefield. Two weeks later, my victim's 16-year-old American son was also killed by his own government. That would be me. The U.S. Attorney General then gave a speech claiming the President, me, has the power to target U.S. citizens for death based on unproven secret accusations of terrorism. It just doesn't get any worse than that. And now, Perry Logan and the Worst of Presidents Band play It Just Doesn't Get Any Worse Than That.
Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. Wow. How can you people... How can you people be so excited when everything's worse than ever? You know how I love my little tricks? Hey, I'm just cheering myself up. Trying to cheer you up. Uh, I just don't see how it could be any worse. Aww. How could it be worse than, than the president not only saying he had the power to kill us, that's what it comes down to, to all you have to do is accuse someone of being a terrorist and then apparently you can kill them. Excuse me. Didn't we settle this back sometime during the Magna Carta? It's just like, it's like they're throwing away the Magna Carta. The Democrats are throwing away the Magna Carta. So, you know, I mean, uh, uh, who will be on Mitt Romney's kill list? <laughs> it, okay, yeah. maybe that's how it could get worse. Uh, that not after Obama has his kill list, Mitt has his kill list, you know. One presumes that once Obama has created this power, which doesn't exist, or claim this tyrannical power, Mitt will have it too. Oh! Yes, this is Abe Lincoln. You may remember me as the president who destroyed the rebel traitors who were willing to kill their fellow Americans so they could keep their slaves. In retrospect, it just makes me vomit. It just makes me vomit that we let these rebel traitors live, that we did not nuke the whole goddamn continent. Just kidding, this is Abe Lincoln, hosting another great Perry Logan show, this one called The Worst of Presidents. I can't imagine what Perry's talking about. Hey, watch this. <laughs> That's just a little thing I do. But wait! I feel some evil force taking me over. I'm transforming! This is Barack Obama, the worst of presidents. You may remember me as the president who signed indefinite detention into law. As the president with the notable speech defect as the president who quadrupled Bush's drone attacks. As the president who thought he had the power to kill anyone at will. That makes me the worst president ever, right? There. There, you heard it for yourself. Obama has confessed it. Don't you understand Obama has confessed it? He is the worst president ever. He hath seized the crown of worst president ever from the tiny little skull of George W. Bush. Hey, this George W. Bush, up until now, the worst president ever. Watch this. I can do it too. I, George W. Bush, actually was not the worst president ever because, of course, I was never elected. <laughs> Since Obama made his confession about what a sucky president he is, I'll admit too, you know, not only was I the worst thing ever, not only did I bring the republic to its knees, me and Dick, but I stole my way in both times. <laughs> That's unless you believe that America re-elected the worst president ever, me, by a substantial margin. And I know you're not that dumb. No, no, I, George, thank you, W. George W. Bush was wearing the crown of worst president ever, and I thought he had it trademarked. Whenever I called him the worst president ever, I would just put that little trademark thing up there, you know what I mean? Oh no, but it, Obama, in less than four years, check it out, a Democrat, Obama, in less than four years, hath wrested the crown from George W. Bush's tiny little head, like this.
Once again, this is Honest Abe, the best of presidents. <laughs> and this is Barack Obama, the worst of presidents. I freed the slaves and whooped those rebel traitors. I signed indefinite detention into law. I'm killing Muslims in Muslim nations all over the world. I'm Obama with Obama Bummer News. I'm Obama with Obama Bummer News. No, really. This is Obama with Obama Bummer News. Did you know, okay, never mind, did you know that Obama's popularity overseas in like the whole rest of the world has dropped precipitously? <laughs> like this. Possibly because, despite what you may have heard from the corporate media, United States foreign policy in the Middle East and Central Asia is a complete disaster. North Africa is on the way to domination by radical Islamists. We push Mubarak out without any transition, which was dumb. And the Muslim Brotherhood and even more extreme Islamists are nearing control. The same is true in Libya and Tunisia. It's a total disaster. This makes Obama the worst of presidents, surely.